and welcome to this week's What's Hot. And so much has happened since I last spoke to you, including some dental work. So if I dribble in this video, I apologize in advance. So let's start off with Metro Bank, though. It has secured £325 million in new funding, as well as refinancing £600 million worth of debt to shore up its finances. Now, its strategy of focusing on high street branches has been described as expensive, and it's not helpful when that comes from the mouth of the co-founder, the former chairman, Anthony Thompson, said if it continues with its bricks and mortar branches approach, it has a limited future. Well, a little bit of background on Mr. Thompson. He left Metro to start up Atom Bank, which was the first app-based bank. And he also hired rapper and producer Will I Am to act as a technology consultant. However, its website isn't that dissimilar from Nat West. So that fusion of the new and the established. Now let's stick with established and one of my favourite stocks, which is Bloomsbury Publishing. And another of its authors has been awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. This time it is Norwegian playwright John Foss, who received the award for his innovative plays and prose, which give voice to the unsayable the unsayable. Well, there was plenty of voices and jaw joying at the most recent political party conferences, which brings me to YouGov, which is not affiliated with any party. It's supposed to be and is very independent. It is a research and data analytics group and shares this past week saw a double digit increase after strong results. Revenue of £258 million profit of £56 million, and it's negotiated a credit line of some £280 million. So hopefully some of that money will be divested or invested in its own tech because its website is so painfully, painfully slow and it's hard to extract the intelligence that YouGov is known for. Well, I hope that you are well. I'll be back same time next week and this time and next time my left side won't be numb. Take care.